Just get it done. Concentrate, like we practiced. Now, fire! What? Oh, shit! Um, I guess we're not getting Zevron just yet. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> I just love how it always takes so long to, um... Show me what you've got! get them to respawn. Okay, come on guys, really? Uh, I suppose I better take out that alpha. Oh shit. Oh god, they're all coming after me. Run, little archery girl, run! <laughs> There we go. There we go. Um. Here we go. On your guard. Dog, what the hell are you doing? Oh, good. You're bringing them to me. That's really smart of you. Oh, oh, Alistair. Shit. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to you. Oh, hello. I'm gonna take care of my mage first, sorry. Alright, sorry Alistair, where are you? There you are. You can come back to life now. I suppose I'm gonna talk to the mages. Hello. I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. They're young, but capable enough, as you saw. Indeed. Is it true? Is this the Great Blight? Possibly. Wasn't there another mage? Did he die? <laughs> I hope not. Right. Yep, he died. So much for apprentices. Alright, any other sparkles? I see a sparkle. Alright, we got one lesser pull to use. Okay. Alright, then we can move on. And we should run into Zebron next. Right here. No? What? Nuh uh. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm not gonna like this, am I? I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because... Well, because my father was King Marek. Which made Kaelin my half brother, I suppose. <laughs> so you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. <laughs> ha, yes, I guess it does it. That I should use that line more often. I, I would have told you, but 
It never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Does Logan know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. <clears throat> Are you sure you're not hiding anything else? Besides my unholy love of fine cheeses and a minor obsession with my hair, no, that's it. Just the prince thing. <laughs> I really want to say the first thing, but it's not really in character for her, but okay, I'll say it anyway. Because I just love Alistair so much. <laughs> so I should be calling you Prince Alistair. No! Maker's breath! Just hearing that gives me a heart attack. It's not true, anyhow. I'm the son of a commoner. It was always made clear that the throne is not in my future. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh no, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. Yeah, I just want to mention, now he said that he's the son of a commoner, so he's never going to be on the throne. But um, Anora is actually the daughter of Loghain, and she's the queen, and Loghain was always a commoner, so that really makes no sense. Anyway. Hmm. Alright, okay, I'll go with the second one because, well, I mean, initially, as I'm playing her and kind of role-playing, I wanted her to become, like, she hates humans, but, like, I wanted her to become, um, like, she just becomes friendlier with her group, so I'll just go with it. As you command, my prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. <laughs> okay, so, um, I want Zevron, damn it! <laughs> but, um, I don't know where I can go where it's not gonna take me forever. I guess I'll go to Frostback Mountains. I should get Zevron. I should. I better. Yes! Zevron! This better be you. Because Zevron is going to be my man. I believe, yep, this would be Zevron. Oh, come on, can I get the elf root? Oh, thank the maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Of course. Is that a bird? What the hell is that? It, what the hell is that? <laughs> Why is it just like hopping along? Is it, I mean, I think that's a crow. It looks a little too light to be a crow, but I think that's so ironic. So very, very ironic. Oh shit! 
it. <laughs> Zevran, how could you? Okay, so there's like 10 bajillion people around here, and I'm not really sure where to start. Enemies approaching. Um, isn't there a way to get up there? I think I have to go all the way in to get up here, so I'm just gonna have to not so fast. get him from here. Them out. All right, Morgan, I think I'm gonna actually control you. So you actually do what I want you to do. I, want you, I, I really want to take out these guys that are on the top. Because archers are always like the most deadly. For me anyway, maybe it's just me. Oh, I should take them out, okay. Alistair, don't you die. No dying allowed. Shield wall and- oh wait, he's got an injury. I should probably- what does that do? Maximum health. Yes, I should heal that, shouldn't I? Oh, I'm so wonderful at this. Okay. Now, don't die. Actually, I should. No, no, that's what should do it. Okay. Now, kill him! Get him! Okay. Now, you. Oh, no, you got your bow out. Cool. Oh, Zevron! You're trying to kill your future girlfriend? Come on. You are just so mean. <sighs> Alright, there she's fighting. Sorry. I think I'm gonna run. <laughs> At least- oh sh- oh I thought detected, I thought it meant- okay. Oh shit, she's gonna die. No, don't die! Okay. Jesus. Is that Morgan all the way back there? Come on. At least she's gonna do a good spell. That's good too. Victory shall be mine. Is there another? Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Did anyone else hear that? It's like, oh, 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 Morgan, really? Okay. Scene, cutscene, anyone? Let's get started. Or is it only until I try to leave that the uh, cutscene occurs? Um, well, let me undo this trap. Oh. I'm gonna wake him up and talk to him. Mmm. Oh, what? I. Oh. Oh, I rather thought I would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Oh, no, obviously not. That could be easily rectified. Of that I have no doubt. You are most skilled. If you haven't killed me, however, you must have kept me alive for some purpose, yes? You seem awfully glib for a prisoner. <laughs> it is my way, or so I am told. Let's see then. I assume you kept me alive to ask me some questions, yes? If so, let me save you time and get right to the point. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens. Which I have failed at, sadly. <laughs> what are the Antivan Crows? An order of assassins, of course, out of Antiva. I suppose you wouldn't hear much of them out here, but where I come from, we're rather infamous. You came all the way from Antiva? Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. 
Who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Does that mean you're loyal to Logan? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. And now that you've failed that service? Oh, well, that's between Logan and the Crows. And between the Crows and myself. And between you and me? Isn't that what we're establishing now? <laughs> when were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Logan of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Logan then. <laughs> if you had failed? What can I say? Huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> no. no, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? <laughs> How much were you paid? I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Then why are you one? Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The crows bought me young. I was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. But don't let my sad story influence you. The crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men, whatever you happen to fancy. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. If you're considering joining, I'd really think twice about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I'll take that under advisement. You seem like a bright girl. I'm sure you have other options. Why are you telling me all this? <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Aren't you at least loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. I am listening. Make it quick. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So let me serve you instead. <laughs> Can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing. That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing. In which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. <laughs> and what's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time.